In this video, traders, I want to talk about the trader's belief system. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so what's your trader's belief system and is it holding you back? So many traders, I think we just have to, and, and this is, you know, we have a belief system that's just not serving us, right? And especially in our early years, and it's very hard to remain positive, optimistic, confident, focused, all those things when you're just getting smashed by the market, you get an uppercut, you get a left jab, you're getting this and that, the other and you're getting back up and it's smashed again. And, and it's very hard to have this kind of confidence that you stay through. And I've talked about confidence many times before, but maybe you've got to rewire how you think about yourself and your trading. So what do I mean? So many traders are absolutely petrified of losing days. They don't want a losing day. They feel like it's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a real kind of dent on their on their worth as a trader. They don't know how bad the losing day could be. They're like, oh, you know what? Sometimes I just kind of go on tilt and I trade impulsively and do damage, and they're nervous about that. And so this is a big one on its own. If you're frightened of a losing day, you are going to be trading scared. You are going to be trading from a perspective of any time I've got green, I take it and protect it. You're going to be so nervous. Anytime you've got a loss, I don't want to crystallize that loss. I want the hope that it's going to come back. I need the chance it's going to come back because that means the day is going to end up green. And if you fear that so much and your day to day or your kind of operational stuff is just going to be constantly, constantly marred by this overall belief system of I fear a losing day, therefore every trade has got to be protect the money, protect the money, take the money, grab the money. And then you're never going to push the, you're never going to be able to stretch to a point where it works for you because you're never going to hold a trade. If you're fearful about a trade, unrealized P now disappearing, you're never going to hold it. You're like, oh, you know what? Actually, uh, you know, I'll take that because I'd rather have a couple hundred bucks day. I'd rather have a green day. And as opposed to that trade, it would have gone $2,000. It could have, could have moved and made major week, made your month. But you, your belief system is I'm so scared of a losing day and, and you end up trading in the opposite manner to what you need to be able to trade. You're not expecting big winners, another one. You know, if you've never had big winners, then it's very hard to say, hey, this could be a big winning day for me. And, and, and as traders, you know, if we truly think about that when we're in the early career, you may have not had enough big days or a big day to believe that it could be a big winning day. It could be a good week. You don't really believe it. Like you'd like to have a big boost. You'd like to, but actually you know that your behavior is one that just shuts down those winners early. And unless you have winner, 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 and you have a really good hit rate, you're not going to get the big day. And very often you probably stop after a few. So you don't allow yourself to have a decent day because again, you're trading from a belief system of scarcity. I'm scared. I need to protect what I've got. I can't have a red day. I need to protect my capital. Any unrealized pin I need to snatch, you know, anything that's going against me, I need to hold and hope it comes back. It's just a completely flawed way of thinking. We know this, right? We know run the winners, cut the losers. And this comes from this deep rooted thing sometimes of what your belief system is. Let me go back to this other, this kind of thing of point of view of scared of loss. If you're trading scared or you're trading not to lose, you will lose. It's the, it's the, it's the paradox of trading, right? If you're trying to protect and trying to protect, just like I said earlier, your decision making will be aligned with the opposite of what you need to do. You will grab stuff that's there in green because you want to take it and you will hold stuff that's red because you think it's going to come back and it's going to turn into green. It turns into hope, it turns into fear. It's the wrong way around. And so this really is something to, to grasp and say, hey, hang on, I, I need to be prepared to risk this amount. I'm going to risk this amount in today. I'm happy to risk that amount. I'm not scared of losing it. I'm not scared of having a, having a red day. I'm not going to snatch up profits. I'm going to behave in, in, a, in a manner that's on the front foot. I am being aggressive, not so aggressive that you're swinging crazily, but having the attitude of, hey, I'm going to the market. I'm going to push as much as I can. I'm going to extract as much as I can from this trade. I'm going to extract as much as I can with the opportunities there. Having that mentality rather than, oh, if I could just grab a little bit and get out, you know, well, I'll be happy. I'll be fine. And you might think that, but you can't act that way because that will turn into the wrong execution as a trader. You notice the difference. It's like, if you're like, hey, I'm going to press this. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to make this. I'm going to take as much as I can from this trade because I've waited for this. I've held it, done this and done that. Holding, holding. It's still going. It's going to close at highs. I'm not going to touch this thing. If it comes back, fine. I'm not frightened. I'm holding. I'm going to push more size into this deal. Whatever it is, it's that much more aggressive nature than playing like, oh, you know, but, hey, but I'm frightened of this. And because you just operate from the wrong perspective. So scared of loss, get rid of that. Try to get rid of that. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. If you've not had any traction, but 
you know, minimize your position size. Play from a perspective of, if you have to trade very, very small, but imagining it's big, so you feel like it's got some skin in the game. Trading not to lose. Again, you know, we've talked about this in a whole video exclusively. It's like, if you have that mentality of, I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose, you will lose because again, you're flipping your biases. And this is the final one is, hey, I've done so much work. You probably can't read this, but let me tell you to you. I've done so much work, yet I'm not where I want to be. Therefore, it must be me. That belief system is gonna get you nowhere. And it's such a common belief system for many traders on the journey. I've done so much. I've traded for many years. I've traded all these cycles. I've lost this kind of money. I know this, I know that. So I hope it didn't take you 10 years. I hope you can fast track an absolute money, watch this channel and learn and go through the process. It won't take you 10 years or it shouldn't take you 10 years, but it's changing that belief system. It's saying, hey, it's not me. I have put the work in. I'm not where I wanna be yet but it doesn't mean I'm a failure and it doesn't mean I should get frustrated. I'm gonna be aggressive, I'm gonna try not to lose, I'm gonna keep my risk managed. It doesn't mean I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna keep my risk managed. I'm not gonna be frightened of having a losing day. I'm not gonna be frightened of a losing trade. I am going to expand my world so that I can have big winners and I'm going to operate from, a, from the front foot, not the back foot, from the front foot. Keep your risk managed, see you in the next one, bye-bye.